what's good what's good my people what's good the boy came back again and as always we want to know what the market is doing right <coughs> and wow 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 this is hilarious this is fantastic this is fantastic i decided i want to keep my chart clean right so what i did i just came and drew the 3m candle you know high initial balance high and low right for yesterday not yesterday for today morning 3m and that's it and you can see we're still wavering between that then because we are in a downtrend okay i went further back to see uh where to expect the next zone of support right and i went way back to this 3m candle back in 24th of january right and uh, to go further back i'll have to go even further back to see what uh, next levels to expect right you can see these are very key levels because the price is bouncing off and it's on and off between them and having this large bearish candle as a green candle tells you that hey you know what there is a strong strong bearish momentum so uh chances are today we are gonna see this okay we're gonna see like uh, almost three percent drop all the way to this um first form of support and if we break that we expect to go all the way down to four four percent to this IBR, which is the initial balance low and the next uh form of resistance to expect you can see previously price bounced off here really well so we expect that the same as well right so um having said that having seen that and you all know that you know uh for me i don't trade bitcoin right i don't trade bitcoin because hey if you're seeing a two percent move in bitcoin right here right 2.3 percent you're definitely gonna see double that or triple that in the arts right the blue chip arts that i trade like luna and uh, Solana. right now i always check the volume and that's the first thing you should also see look at as well so having noted that that you know we are probably in a downtrend and we can denote that from um, zoom out and see the larger time frame and you can see in this daily time frame we were forming a bear flag right here and once the bear flag was you know once price got the bears uh the bulls got tired you know the bull, bears won and we saw a close below the trend line that we were following right uh across those uh um weeks and now we're kind of trying to retest this trend line and then uh come all the way down so I'm probably seeing us going all the way down to this back to the k 3k region and all the way down to these zones right here because these are very 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 key zone right here around the 2930 area that's a very key zone so chances are we're going to see a drop all the way down there okay so we are preparing for this drop right here okay you can see always after a major drop we have a, you know, a cool down then we see another major drop cool down okay another major drop cool down this was a really strong cool down because it was a really comeback strong comeback by the bulls okay and you can see that previously there was a lot of you know uh ranging in this area right here there was a lot of ranging right there and before we saw a spike um the july 21st i remember this day i'll never forget it this is when i realized you know what things can turn real polish really quickly and this was a very good example so hopefully we are gonna bounce off here as well and then bounce back okay because you can see clearly from this um from this chart you can see a very clear pattern of a head and shoulder pattern right here okay and let me take the brush you can see this head and shoulder right shoulder head uh left shoulder head and right shoulder means uh, we were indeed we are indeed in a mini bear market so hopefully we are going to see hopefully we are going to see as our days is proved and we're going to 
go back down and see uh, where we're going to see. We also, um, we also have this trend line right here, which has been uh, working out perfectly as a downtrend for the longest time. Okay, so you can see there's been also bounce off now that trend line. We're gonna see this drop. Hopefully, we're gonna bounce off and break it once we hit the 30 day region, right? Or 29, 28, who knows? So, yeah, but for now, I'm still very bearish. And uh, yeah, let's look at uh, you know, when we go further down, you see the spikes which was happening. I think uh, this is just one of them. A lot of you know, there's a lot of a very strong support in this zone that's like see the price correcting right there but once we break it we're gonna come all the way down to this 35 600k region right so um as always i always trade luna solana and i do that because of the volume i told you guys come just to coin gecko refresh coin gecko or you can even do it on a coin market cap depends on your cup of tea but for me i love coin gecko just i just love it Okay, so 24 now volume, just click it. Once you click it, first it's gonna show you, you know, the volume, 24 hour volume in terms of, you know, um, the list to the highest. Okay, you click it again, it's gonna show you from the highest uh, descending market. So, Terra is always the first one because anytime you have a bear market, people sell off their coins to have it in USDT so that, you know, they can buy the dip or they can take profit or they can panic sell and, you know, cut losses and bitcoin and ethereum will always be on top here as long as you know they still retain their glory right then now from there that's when now we start seeing other stable coins like usd usd coin and any other coin that can top 10 right here will always be uh having a very enormous amount of volume you can see a solana already has 2.9 billion in volume 24 hours and I believe it's gonna, you know, it's, it's, it has a very strong bullish momentum because a, a lot of bullish news. Solana page has launched a lot, of, a lot of things happening in Solana at the same time, right? They had lost the momentum before, and all the money was going to Terra, Phantom, and other ones. And uh, but you know, right now because of this bullish news, we are seeing Solana come back strong. As you can see XRP is also there as a token with high volume. Some reason I don't trade XRP, uh, but I do trade Luna and Solana. Right now I'm focusing on Solana because of this high volume, right? And you will notice that even when you do start doing analysis, because now what happens is that you will start seeing how the price is moving. So we just switch back to like Inashi candlesticks and we go back to the one hour time frame because we are scalping and swinging. You want to see these shorter movements and you can see the pattern is always the same. Uh, when it comes to you know the market movement, that's why uh, Bitcoin is still dominating. And you can see here the dominance is still 41.77, which is great, it's huge, it's huge. That means definitely affects the market. So, we are seeing this happening right now. Uh, this cool down happening in this outright, and you can see here previously we had a very strong uptrend. And when we know normally, according to my analysis. Market. Normally, when you see this huge upstream or downstream, when prices tries to recover that, it comes in slowly. It doesn't flow as quickly as it, as it did when it was going up, right? So it does slowly, and then you know we are seeing these rejections here. And this is now a possible nice entry all the way down here, and you know you can see this. We are looking at around you know when we go all the way here to this. Where this uh, previous support was, that's around you know, that's around 10%, right? That's a cool 10% drop, which on Bitcoin will be around 3 or 4%, which is okay because you know, that's why I love trading altcoins because we are getting more money, which is, it means it's more volatile. I mean, if you're losing, you're also losing more money. So, yeah, that's what I'm looking at right now. I'm waiting for it to break out of. This is the 3 a.m. candle, which is also very strong bearish. Which, uh, uh, their uh, candlestick, which means that probably they're gonna be going down. 
technically, right? So then it goes to Solona again. See, wow, Solona also had a very huge jump off yesterday. And you see, this candle here was about, well, this was the liquidation candle. Liquidated a lot of shots before it went back down. You can see this uh, for Luna, we we opened the this 3M candle with a doji. So probably trying to tell us that you know what, we are not gonna go further down, we're gonna range here before further down. But you can see after that what happened, we went and closed even way below the today's IBL. We went to uh, yesterday's uh, actually it's from on past Day before yesterday's IBH and IBM, we closed below that, and now we are headed to a very strong zone, which was way back in that. That means there's a lot of volume which is uh, pushing it down, and that's what happens when you have a token in volume. So, when the market is bearish, there's a downside. If it's bullish, it does the same, it moves harder, right? So, I'm expecting it to come. We have this trend line right here on the way down. One, Day. So I'll be looking at you know um, I'll be looking at around you know five percent, which is not bad. I mean, uh, using liquid, which is I use five to ten x, right? Ten x that's around fifty percent, right? Which is not bad, right? Uh, but I have to know make the right entry, to make sure that you know um, I'm doing the right thing. So yeah, once you do that with your Hekenashi, you've already established the trend, you've already seen what's going on, you've established the key levels where to expect bounces. Now you switch to your Japanese candlesticks and now we can see now exactly the market movements and this is how we are now you determine your trades. So right now there's no volume in the market, you can see very clearly the volume is increasing and probably it's because the US market is stock market has not yet opened. And you know, so these guys are asleep, and normally uh, volume comes in at that time. So I'll be just checking out. You can see I have my alert right here. If you pass through that, I'll know you know what. It's time to look into you know uh, where to set my shots, right? Because if you break here, we'll be looking to test this. And I'm hoping that this is gonna come back and we test today's IBL or IBH right here. And if we do that, I'll be entering a shot right there because that will be now confirmation that you know what. We are back, baby. We want to retest this, <laughs> but you can see there's a lot of selling power because bulls are trying to, you know, they're trying to, uh, to do something here to push the price back, but it is impossible. But you can see we just broke this 200 EMA, which is a very strong zone, right? You can see how it was hovering over there. We just broke it, closed below it with a couple of candles. I hope that we are going come back and retest it. That's why I want to see us retest this um, IBO and then probably take out a shot and uh, that will be amazing. If you take a shot all the way from there, that will be a cool 70%, which is not bad, right? Yeah, which is not bad. So I'll be chilling. That's, that's what I'm doing. That's basically what I'm doing, guys. I told you I'm not an expert in this shit. I'm just, I, especially with this new strategy, with this, and this IBH and IBO, I'm just trying it out seeing if it's working but so far it's working perfectly so yeah let me let me wait and if you're not a future trader you can you are doing only spot trading which means you only make money when the market goes up i think the only thing to do is to dca and, you know buy uh the dip as you go down okay you need to have some on the side to do that or just wait until we are confirmed that we are back. We break this um, trend line right here on Bitcoin. Once we break this trend line, we'll be confirmed. We'll be surely confirmed. You know what? Hey, we are headed back up. And now you can now go back. But, you know, and do the thing. So, yeah, let's chill and see. Let's chill and see. That's, that's pretty much it for me today, guys. Cheers, guys. Have a lovely day. Wish you all the best. And if you have any questions about technical analysis, any questions you want me to cover on how to do any basic things on TA, make sure you contact me. No, make sure you comment below, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you get notified. 
I'll be uploading these analysis videos every single day and you know we see if we we can make some money together. Why not? Cheers guys!